Every four years, America competes to find out who will be America's next top Republican. Will it be Ron Paul, the doctor, Rick Santorum, the warrior, or Mitt Romney, the executive? If elected president, Mitt Romney says he'll use his private sector experience to create jobs. I would spend every waking moment doing what I could to get Americans back to work. But long before he made his millions, he was simply Mitt from the block. Willard Mitt Romney was born in Detroit in 1947. The youngest of four kids, he idolized his father, George, who was the head of American Motors and later governor of Michigan. The Boston Globe's Scott Hellman says having a powerful father with strong connections was good training for a future in politics. That being said, Mitt Romney did not stand out as a future leader. I don't think you'll find many people who will say when he was really young that he was destined to be president or destined to run a major company. Faith was Romney's first calling. He left Stanford University to go to France as a Mormon missionary. When he returned to the US, he married his high school sweetheart, Anne, went to Brigham Young University, and then Harvard. Then, he started making his fortune. Romney founded Bain Capital, a private equity firm. Mitt's millions allowed him to take his biggest step ever towards becoming America's next top Republican. He ran for governor of Massachusetts and won. In that race, he did not come across as socially conservative. He, he made a real point to cast himself as a, as a social liberal or, or moderate, depending on your view. And so I think, I mean, there's been this endless debate, well, what does Mitt Romney really believe? In his race for the White House, he's changed his tune on issues like gun control, abortion, immigration, and gay rights. His moderate past means Romney has no invitation to the Tea Party and social conservatives distrust him. So Romney's pushing his business background as a cure for the ailing economy. But Hellman warns that could backfire because Romney's goal in private equity wasn't exactly job growth. Was their intention to create a bunch of new jobs? No, their intention was to make a bunch of money for them and their investors. Romney and his wife have five sons and 16 grandchildren. His full hair, square jaw, and scandal-free family make him look like something out of the squeaky clean 1950s. He's hoping his image and resume will make him president in 2012. But first, he must become America's next top Republican.